Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Gallagher here and I am going to be reading today one of Graham Bass's most popular and worldwide known books, Animalia. So I encourage you to look closely at the pictures and see what you can see. Within the pages of this book, you may discover if you look beyond the spell of written words, a hidden land of beasts and birds. For many things are of a kind, and those with keenest eyes will find a thousand things or maybe more. It's up to you to keep the score. A final word before we go. There's one more thing you ought to know. In Animalia, you see, it's possible you might find me. And this little character hides somewhere in every page. An armoured armadillo avoiding an angry alligator. Beautiful blue butterflies basking by a babbling brook. And if you think about all the things starting with the letter A, look, an armadillo, an apron, um, what can we see down here? An anaconda, beetle for bee, and that might be a beaver or a badger perhaps. Um, the baboon playing some type of instrument beginning with B. Crafty crimson cats carefully catching crusty crayfish. And boys and girls, this is a perfect example of alliteration where every word starts with the same sound. Look, there's a camera, he's got a cap on. There's some crayfish in the water. Diabolical dragons daintily devouring delicious delicacies. Some donuts. Oh, there's a little dagger. There's a dog, a dragonfly. Feel free to pause along the way and look at all the amazing pictures. Eight enormous elephants expertly eating Easter eggs and four fat frogs fishing for frightened fish. Okay, lots of eggs. This one's wearing some eyeglasses. Oh, there's a flamingo hiding behind the frog. Oh, there's a little fox down there. Great. Green gorillas growing grapes in a gorgeous glass greenhouse. Look, a giraffe hiding. I know that's not the same sound, but it begins with the letter G. A goblet. There's a little gnome. Begins with G hiding. I think that's a gibbon type of monkey. Horrible hairy hogs hurrying homeward on heavily harnessed horses. You can see here, oh, maybe that's like a haunted house. And hiding behind there, I think there's a hippo, hippopotamus. There's some little hamsters in the corner. Ingenious iguanas improvising an intricate impromptu on impossibly impractical instruments. And there's some... What can we see begin with the letter I? Oh, there's an iron hiding there. I can see an ice cream. Um, the iguanas are doing lots of different things. Jovial jackals juggling jugs of jelly in the jungle. And kid kookaburra and Kelly kangaroo kidnapping kitty koala. Okay, there's lots of things in the jug. There's a joker and a judge. I think there's some jam hiding in the corner. And the koala and the kangaroo. There's a kiwi. Um, there's uh, probably a key somewhere. Oh, and remember, the boy hides on every page. There he is. Lazy lions lounging in the local library. Look, this one's eating a book called Lassie. Lassie's the dog's name. Um, there's a law section in the library. There's a locomotive, a lamp, a lizard. A 
The question is something one, two, three plus equals meticulous mice monitoring mysterious mathematical messages. Nine nautical newts navigating near Norway. One outrageous old ostrich ordering an onion omelette. Okay, so you can see lots of mice here. These are molecules. This one's got a mug of something. Um, that's, some, I think they're called Macau or Macaw type of bird. Um, the Taj Mahal, a famous monument in um, India. Um, what are these nine newts doing? Um, there's a newspaper. Oh, there's Neptune, the king of the ocean. And the ostrich, I think she's maybe got, like, got an orange in her hat. Um, and she's got, I um, can't really find any other all at the moment. Oh, look at this one. Proud peacocks preening perfect plumage. Okay. And this one is full of letter P. Look, penguins, pandas. She's pregnant. Um, there's the police with the prisoner. Quivering quails queuing quietly for quills. Quills is like when they use the feathers for the pens. And richly robed rhinoceroses riding in rickety red rickshaws. Six slithering snakes sliding silently southward. And then it has the words again. Two tigers taking the 100 or the 10... 20 train to Timbuktu and unruly unicorns are pending urns of ultramarine umbrellas. V. Victor V. Vulture, the vaudeville ventriloquist, versatile virtuoso of vociferous verbosity, Vexatously vocalizing at the Valhalla variety venue. Lots of vultures doing things there. And look at the wicked warrior wasps wildly waving warlike weapons. And this one is written backwards Rex Fox fixing six saxophones. And the youthful yaks yodeling in yellow yachts. And last but not least, zany zebra zigzagging in zinc, uh, zinc zeppelins. So, boys and girls, that was Graham Bass's Animalia. animalia. Um, why don't you go through, pause along the way, and see what other amazing pictures and little characters you can find hiding.